this is my journey of a very failureable success. Uh, basically, my Moat Tool or Mark of the Unicorn Ultralight Mark IV USB interface mixer had decided to fail in the USB department. Uh, I needed another USB DAC and I needed it relatively quick. Well, I could have taken my time, but then I discovered that another product of mine had decided to fail too. So I've got to get that taken care of under warranty, which we're not going to discuss right now. Uh, basically, what we have is its replacement in the area of USB. This is for my bedroom system, not my editing living room system. Uh, this would be the SMSL Sanskrit. I uh, picked it up on Amazon for about $139. You could actually pick this up right now, as of this uh, video uh, today, uh, for $118. It never fails, right? You pay too much for something and Amazon drops the price. So it is what it is, right? But anyway, why in a world did I pick this one over the ones that I normally would have picked? Well, all of you mostly know that I'm a shit audio fanboy. Okay, there's there's no question about that. But I didn't want to rely on FedEx and I didn't want to rely on U USPS or UPS because, as they say, tis the season. So basically what I had done is uh, I relied on Amazon. Okay, and that's an entirely different conversation as far as how that goes. But we're not going to get into that either. Uh, but Amazon would get this to me Tuesday. Uh, I think I ordered this either Friday or Saturday, one of the two. So um, I had ordered this Sanskrit. I knew of this particular DAC for a while. Um, and I was always curious about it, but I never had a need for it. Okay, This squarely goes against uh, a lot of the DACs out there in what we call the sweet $100 range. Uh, you know, Emotiva's got its uh, aluminum black candy bar-like uh, DACs, as well as, uh, you know, the ones out there that are a little more like the rectangle ones, like, uh, you know, the shit audio Modi, for example, and the, the various different other ones that are, that are right in this price point. Audio Quest, I think, may even have something as close to this. Fairly close. So this is really the sweet spot of uh, making your computer sound the best it can without making a huge investment. Okay, that's the trick. Anybody can throw money at a digital analog converter, and frequently people do. Okay, uh, kind of the median price for a digital analog it, uh, converter is anywhere from about, I would say, probably $200 going on up. Okay, how up is up? Well, that's up to you. Um, I was taking a look at one here that's ultimately what I refer to as the ultimate statement, and that is the uh, Denifrips Terminator 2. And I don't even know how much that costs, but it costs more than five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars from what I understand. But it is the last word in a, uh, what a DAC is, so so they say. But for the rest of us, like you and me, well, what, what can we do? Uh, well, I chose the SMSL route because it's of its price. I could have picked another USB interface, but I wanted to also have optical in, and I also wanted to have coaxial digital in. And a lot of the other interfaces that I might look at, we start getting into some fairly lofty money and... Frankly, I don't need another bunch of microphone inputs and those kinds of things. I've got a mixer that takes care of that. I've got the, the Gap 73, which is doing a great job. So um, I'm pretty happy there. So I didn't need another USB interface. The other thing, too, I wanted to keep the Mark of the Unicorn Ultralight Mark IV because I like its fully differential balanced uh, output stage as well as its input stages and uh, as well as... A pretty decent headphone amplifier. It's not anything to write home about. It's a lot better than the Focusrite one, my humble opinion. It takes care of all of my headphones, um, such as my uh, my Biodynamic DT770s and so on. It, it just gets along fine with those. Um, I, I think it's got more guts than my Focusrites do. I have the, uh, the Focusrite Solos, which is related to like a 2i2 that everybody kind of really knows. The only thing about it, it's one channel. Okay. So what do you get with the SMSL? Well, you get the latest uh, and greatest from them. I think it's called version 2 these days. It's the XMOS 32-bit 384 kilohertz sampling rate. Um, it is fully compliant with the various different devices out there, including even Linux distros. Okay, So if you've got iOS, if you've got Android, if you've got Windows 10, heaven forbid you're running anything older than Windows 10, and if you are, shame on you. Uh, and uh, it'll interface very easily with them. Uh, it comes with two USB uh, inputs. One is auxiliary power to power your mobile devices so you don't get that. I don't have enough power to power you. you we're not going to let this happen. Or you can uh, power uh, directly from USB bus power. It's uh, USB type A to USB micro from your computer directly to uh, the, uh, the Sanskrit. 
From now on, I'm just going to call it the Sanskrit just to save some time and descriptive uh, overload here. So we'll just call it the Sanskrit. What you see here is a rectangular box. <laughs> it's really ingenious. Very small footprint. If it's more than six inches long, I'd be surprised. And about two inches tall. Uh, it does have a gyro built uh, uh, display in it, so you can kind of put it on its end, at the shorter end, or you can put it on its longer end, if you will. And the display moves accordingly. Kind of nice for uh, people who want to have uh, uh, a particular kind of uh, installation uh, preference. Uh, you're going to start off with minus 10 dBV or dBU um, outputs on this. This does not support balanced. Come on now. It's only 140 bucks. Well, actually now 120 bucks. So you can't expect balance. Uh, let's not be silly. Uh, you're also going to have your coaxial digital input, your TOSLink optical digital input, as well as, your, of course, your USB compliant input uh, for all your various different devices. Once again, iOS, Windows, uh, Android, and uh, Linux, which is kind of nice because I'm thinking of making a Linux server, and I'd love to get another one of these maybe to connect to that server. So what do you get? What does it sound like? Um, is it worth the money? Uh, I think especially now at the $118 price, you're going square right at uh, the shit modi. And uh, the one thing that this thing gives you, and it's really stupid what I'm going to say here, uh, that I really like that I wish shit would get on there, uh, act about, that's including a remote control for their DAX, okay? Uh, it's kind of nice to have, actually. So that way you can model through the various different uh, filters. You can change your inputs readily. Um, a lot of times, a lot of folks will only have this particular device as their main switcher, if you will. So having a remote control is kind of nice. And uh, that was the other thing I loved about this particular device here was uh, the Sanskrit did come with a remote control. Of course, supply your own uh, AAA batteries because it's not going to come in the box. Uh, if you're looking for batteries in there, you're not going to find it. Uh, you get your remote control for your various different modes, or rather inputs. Your filter modes, up to six. I stayed with filter one. Uh, your mileage may vary. Try them all. You're not going to hurt anything. Uh, you're also going to get volume up, volume down. Uh, I believe it's minus 44 all the way up to 0 dB. I just leave mine at 0 dB and do all the volume control for my other devices. Okay. Um, I believe you may have a dimmer. I have not played around with that. I really didn't care because the, um, the display really doesn't bother me. I'm far away from it. And uh, it's kind of an kind of an sort of out of focus kind of colored blue or red or what have you. I didn't even pay attention to it. Um, it'll, it'll flash at its, what its status of input is at one point, as well as its sample rate. It's always going to show 384 on mine because that's what I maxed out my computer at. Or the source you have connected to it, such as a, a Blu-ray player that's playing CDs, of course, it'd be 44. Okay, just as an example. So what does this guy sound like? What do you really like about this guy? Well, I really like the fact that nothing really stands out about it, and that's a good thing. Uh, base response is well fleshed out. It's extended. It's full. I wouldn't call it overly rich, but it's full. Uh, Mid-range is uh, very easy to get along with. I don't think it's going to offend to anybody, which is a nice thing. Um, it, I believe it is using the AKM uh, DAX in this one versus the ESS. A lot of people kind of give ESS a lot of static for being a rather pushy DAC. And I really don't think that's just all there is about an ESS. I think a lot of it's got to do with the interrelationship between the DAC and the analog stage, okay? Or, you know, the, the actual chips in the analog stage, if you will. So I think a, an interaction there is very, very key. Uh, I'm not an engineer, so I'm not going to delve into that. And the other thing, too, would be boring anyway, so we're not going to do that. Um, Mid-range is incredibly smooth, easy to get along with. Whatever you like to listen to, this is going to be great. Uh, highs. Uh, I could be happier with it. Um, it's it's very airy, but I, I think it's a touch not as extended as, say, my, my, my shit uh, pair there, the Modius uh, and the uh, Asgard with the 4490 AKM module in it or my Motul. But I don't feel I'm getting really tired listening to it. Um, you know, the, the, the first few days I've been listening to it, um, I'm going hours and hours and I'm enjoying and not getting tired listening to it. So that has to say something about that, right? Is that you don't want to stop listening to it. So that's a big key right there. So ultimately, when you really come down to it for $118 on Amazon right now, um, great stocking stuffer. 
Sure, you bet. You got a kid that's got a laptop computer or a computer, or if you've got a computer that's uh, so-called high-end, uh, one thing they forgot to put in as a high-end is the audio. Most computers sound bad, okay? And uh, just there are very, very, very few exceptions out there, unless you're talking about some very maybe perhaps expensive gaming rigs that have paid a little bit more attention to the audio. Most of them, they're okay. But you can really do a lot for not a lot. You know, you can look at shit. You could look at uh, SMSL. You could look at topping. You could look at a number of different um, digital analog converters that are out there that won't cost you a mint. They don't usually have a very large footprint if you choose accordingly. And um, they're very easy to easily uh, interfaceable, <laughs> if you will. Um, some people complained that the SMSL had a problem interfacing with their computer. I have a Windows 10 computer. This goes back to 2014, I think. It's an i7 Lenovo, and I had no trouble at all. I put the 64-bit um, drivers in here, and no problem at all. Uh, I did less than two minutes. Uh, I was playing music, and um, no problems at all. I've, Systems vary, okay? There's, there's just no question about it. There's no right or wrong about it. It's just how it is, okay? Um, on a Mac, I wouldn't expect any issues at all. On a, uh, um, on a Linux machine, believe it or not, I still wouldn't expect any issues at all. I haven't tried it on my Android devices or my iOS, so I can't say. Um, and I probably won't. Uh, I just really want to have this uh, kept with my, uh, with my laptop and my Blu-ray player, uh, maybe another CD player at some point. Maybe even a DAT machine at some point. I don't know. Or one of my SD recorders. Uh, but problem with SD recorders, they do not have a digital out. So that's not going to help. <laughs> but if I run into one, that may be another uh, uh, input that I explore. The optical input I didn't explore. So mostly I use the coaxial and the uh, USB uh, input accordingly. So I would say give this a try. You can't really hurt too many feelings with it, and I don't think it's going to hurt the budget too much at $118. Uh, I, I think it's pretty darn good value. Um, are you going to be able to beat it with other machines? Of course you will. Everything is a compromise, right? Everything's built to a cost. This is no different, but if you set your expectations accordingly, I think you'll be fine. I think you'll enjoy the SMSL. I think this might be uh, the Christmas gift that uh, maybe will make a lot of people happy. Maybe it won't. Uh, everybody listens differently, and everybody knows what they like and maybe what they don't like. So, uh, But I, I, I urge everyone, if you're looking at the SMSL Sanskrit, especially now at $118, I did a darn good buy, really. Thanks for uh, checking out this uh, audio and video from me, and uh, I hope that your holidays are going great, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.